How well do you know your manga collection? Could you name 10 One Piece characters in 50 seconds? Could you tell me which volume Denji first touches a boob? Who is the rabbit zodiac in Fruits Basket? Or where this manga panel comes from? This is Chris Captures. He's a huge comic book collector and Star Wars fan, but started collecting manga almost two years ago and has a very nice, modest 200 plus volume collection. I have a total of 28 questions for him today and surely he knows everything about the 40 series that he has, right? Today we'll find out just how much Chris remembers about his collection. I was going to ask, how much of your collection do you think you've read? <laughs> um, Have you read everything? I was sitting at about 85% last year, but that's pretty good. a lot since then. Obviously, since I got the new box set for One Piece, that's just under a quarter of my collection, probably. Probably around 70-ish percent. If you took away if you took away One Piece completely, would the number go higher? You think? Probably around 80%. So the big question is, where do you want to start? I have the question split between memory questions or visual. Um, so you choose. Memory first. I think this is the hardest one to be fair. Uh, yeah, it probably <laughs> is. So I'm like, I'll, I'll rip the band-aid off and then yeah. like I can pull it back later when I know how bad it is. I'm like, okay. Okay, so the first one, I'll give you 30 seconds. Not including any Straw Hat members. Name 10 One Piece characters. 30 seconds. Go. Smoker. Uh, Goldie Roger. Um, God, piss. <laughs> um, Luke. No. Uh, uh, oh, for, uh, now the time is on. Now I'm stressing. Um... What was Nami's mum called? I can't remember. G nah. Uh, you got onion, carrot, and you've got uh, whatever the other kid was called. Pepper. Uh, Arlong. <laughs> okay, do the villains. Do the villains. Um, okay, you've got um, Plahador. You've got um, uh, Boogie the Clown. You've got Shanks. You've got... I'll give you five more seconds. Trafalgar Law. You've got uh, Ace. Uh, Blackbeard, Whitebeard, obviously all the beards. Damn, there's a lot of pressure when the timer's on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just looked away from the timer. <laughs> it stresses you out, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Perfect, one point. Let's go. Knowledge questions. This is going to be based on how much of your collection you have read. There's no time for this one. Okay. But I'm only taking your first answer. In which volume did Chopper officially join the crew? I believe his volumes 14 to 16-ish with the Drum Island are pretty sure it was because then you had 16 to 22 was Alabaster. So I'm going to say 16. 16? Yeah, I'm going to say 16. <laughs> so close. 17. Ah! It was midway. It was at the beginning of 17, but you were, you were dead on. The moment I said yeah. it, you were dead on in terms of when the Drum Island arc was. How old is Kafka Hibino at the beginning of Kaiju number eight? I feel like it's either 30 or 32, but I think that's just because my brain likes even numbers. Because I think, wasn't there a whole thing about there's a cutoff date about how old you have to be before you can stop applying? Like, what's the cutoff date of you basically entering the special military? Once you get close to 30, your back <laughs> starts going, your knees start going. Okay, I'm going to say 29. Hedge my bets. So 29? To get in there before he's 30. You were right the first time. 32. It was 30. I think in the first couple of chapters, they mentioned that they had increased it that year. I'm trying to play 4D chess. <laughs> 4D chess. There's me playing checkers. <laughs> How many friends is Comey trying to make? 100 friends. Final answer? Uh, yeah. Yes. I'll give you another point if you could tell me how many friends she has at the end of volume three. Okay, because I only have the first three. So they just do, they've been to the festival, haven't they? So I'm going to say six confirmed friends. Eleven. Oh. Inosuke first debuted in which volume of Demon Slayer? Okay, he's on the cover of episode, uh, volume three. That's the first one he's on the cover of, I believe. And then he appears when the fight in the drum guy. It's either volume, end of volume two or beginning of volume three. I'm going to say volume three just because he's on the cover of that one. And if not, I'm going to have to throw this pop vinyl. <laughs> <laughs> final answer? I'm going to say volume three. Yeah, final answer. Correct. Oh, well yeah. done. I'll give you an additional point for free if you could tell me which volume he removed his boar head for the first time. I think that's when he gets injured after the 
Spider Mountain arc, volume six. Oh, I'll say volume six. It's actually volume four. He takes it off after he has his little tiff with Tanjiro after they beat the drum guy. Uh, yeah, and then they're like, wow, you look like Yeah, beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful man. Name three stands from JoJo's part four. Um, so you got the hand, Killer Queen, or Deadly Queen as it's known in English. You've also got, it's Reverb, Cinderella as well, the one that changes people's faces. Listen, you only have to give me, you only have to give me three. Are you okay with yeah, those? I think, I think those three are right. So Reverb, The Hand, and Killer Queen. All right, then the last question. What is the name of the main ranger group in Go Go Lose Rangers? Oh, the main ranger group. Yeah, the name of the group. So it's, it's the Dragon Rangers. Yep. I feel like they've got a proper full name, like something Dragon Force Rangers. It is not coming to me. I'm going to say Dragon Force Rangers. Dragon Force Rangers. They're called the, the, the Divine Dragon Force Dragon Keepers. Dragon Keepers. I said all of those words except for Keepers. Yeah. yeah dragon Keepers. This one is oh. named the Mangaka. First one. Tatsuki Fujimoto, number two. Easy. Dragon Ball. Akira Toriyama. Go, go, lose the Rangers. It's number three, I believe. Final answer. Pretty sure. Uh, yeah, go number three. Go number three. It is actually number one. Neki Haruba. Berserk. Uh, Kentaro Mura. You are correct. Name four manga where the font of the series is coloured white. The spine, sorry. Sorry, the spine. Okay. Oh, fonts. And you don't just stare at your bookcase all the time, like everybody else. <laughs> Sometimes, but I just I can't remember which ones are written in white. Demon Slayer is written in white. Um, Jujutsu Kaisen. Mm, I'm gonna say the hardcover of JoJo's. Yeah. Uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, mm. can't communicate. Yes! You also had Fire Punch and Chainsaw Man. It's Chainsaw Man are white. Yeah, they're white. You know what? My first thought was Chainsaw Man. I was like, no, that's white with black font. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking of the bit underneath the colored arrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, that is it for the memory test. Visual time. But I'm going to show you some covers, and you have to tell me the number of the volume. First one. Ooh. Chainsaw Man. Which number is this? Okay, so the first one is Denji. Second one is power. It would make sense that Aki was number three. I'm going to say three. Uh, oh, four has got the blue arrows, so it makes sense. But then why wouldn't Aki be on the... Th who would be on the third cover if it's not Aki? Screw it. Yeah, go with three. Go with three. It's actually number four, <laughs> even though it was number three. I was trying to think. I was like, who would be before him? But obviously... Yeah, you'd think that it would be the main three, wouldn't it? You're very good at talking yourself out of your out of the correct answers. <laughs> Demon Slayer. That is the final volume. Uh, how many? <laughs> 21 or 23? Uh, it's 23. 23? Yeah, you are correct. Well done. Jojo's. Ooh. Okay, so Rohan Kishibe is in there. Something saying five to me. <laughs> the the covers don't really describe what's happening in the They're volumes. Not. Like, because the artwork is so old for this. Hmm. They just put whatever nice artwork fits on it. I'm going to say volume five. I'll stick with my original answer. It is volume four. Next. It's the Black Cat Pirates. So we're in the first 11 volumes. How many arcs have we had before this, really? We've had like Romance Dawn. We've had the Arc of Zoro was first introduced. And then you've got the Syrup Island arc. Yeah, I'm going to say volume four. I'm glad, sir. Yeah. You are correct. I think this one might be the hardest. <laughs> <laughs> Calling me out. And it's the singles as well, obviously. It is. It's the old school singles. I've yep. got volume one to ten on my shelf. Yep. Um, what is it? For some reason, in the back of my head, I feel like eight has got the snowboarding guy on. I'm going to say eight. I'm going to stick with my first answer. I've talked myself out of too many answers. Final answer? Eight final answer. Yeah. You are wrong. So I'm going to show you some rendered down versions of a few manga spines. And you have to tell me, multiple choice, which ones they are. Okay, this is Jujutsu Kaisen. Oh, correct. What gave it? What gave it away? What? 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 Uh, the red bit where the number is. Yeah. yeah. Next one. My Hero Academia. 
Easy. And last one. Go, go, lose a ranger. I don't believe it that. I think it's actually Ultimo, and I think that little patch in the middle has got the little parrot dot on, and I think you've gone for a tricky one to try and trip me up. I'm going to say Ultimo. Ultimo, final answer? Yeah. Go, go, lose a ranger. And now we're going to the inside. I'm going to show you four manga panels, and you just have to tell me what the series is. I've removed all humans from the panels. I don't recognize this. I'm trying to think of series with giant dragons in now. That's got vehicles in. So I'm thinking Dragon Ball, Hunter Hunter. Oh, could this be Crazy Food Truck? Because I've not read that yet. Or Rooster Fighter. Okay, I'm just going to say Crazy Food Truck. That's crazy that you went through all of those series and then you landed on the right answer. Let's go. <laughs> Right, next one. Oh, 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 this is this is Rooster Fighter. A giant monster, it's like a salary man with the glasses and the tie, and he's got big arms. Yeah, Rooster Fighter. Next. Oh, you re you doing me like this? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> it could be literally anything. Just <laughs> <laughs> oh bro. Straight away I thought like this kind of looks like Call of the Night kind of looks like uh, the backgrounds from Tokyo Ghoul. I'm just going to say One Punch Man. It's Zom 100. I literally just, my mind just went to Saitama and his like tiny little yeah. apartment. Right, last one. Okay, it's Dragon Ball. Monkey in the bottom, Akira Toriyama. Easy, Dragon Ball. We are hitting the last section now. Which one of these would you not find on manga? I feel like I've seen them all somewhere before. C is classic Viz logo. I've seen that V logo before, but I don't don't know if it's the full complete logo. D is the one throwing me off at the moment because that that's just like straight out of left field that Viz logo. But I feel like I recognise it from somewhere. I'm just gonna kick myself if it's wrong. I'm just gonna uh A just A. E? Final answer. A. Yeah. You are incorrect. Uh, the one that I've edited is B. Uh, the word Europe is not found within box. It's always at the bottom. It's like the Shonen Jump ones, like I said. Oh, Shonen Jump. Ah! Ah! Which one of these will you not find on a manga spine? Right, so A is Shonen Sunday. B is the old Shonen Jump logo. C is the new Shonen Jump logo. It looks specifically like maybe one that you would see on My Hero. D is the only one that I've never seen before. Or is it just the font of B has been altered? No, because the font of B matches the font from D. I've seen C before, but the only thing that's throwing me out is the fact that there's some darker black bits, and I'm like, have you just filled in some bits and been like, oh, let's lock in D. D, final lock answer. That is incorrect. The correct answer is C. That is the new Shonen Jump logo. But the S and the J are never side by side. That's why the sun bits in a different black tone, like I pointed yeah. out. <laughs> yeah, like I, you I, said. I didn't think you were doing me that day. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I even called it out. Seven C's. One of their logos, or one of these logos, should I say, is not found on manga. Which one is it? Straight up, I only just started getting some Seven C's titles. Yeah. I'm not nearly familiar enough. Ah, good. Them. A feels weird that it's got colour on it. D, the font looks different though. Also, they've put something in the background as clouds, which feels weird. But A has got a different wave effect. Why wouldn't they just stick with the same wave effect? Steamship with a heart. It feels like it would be on romance stuff. Would it be on romance manga? Or would it be on like romance novel? And also, the front of the ship is the same on all the other three. I'm, I'm saying A. I'm saying A. Go for A. The answer is D. Uh, airship is used for their light novel section. I've also never read a light novel, so. Yeah, same. I just can't be asked with words. If I, if I turn a page and there's too many text bubbles, I'm like, bruh. Well, you got a total of 16 points out of a possible 28. You did hit the threshold of 50%. So I will send over your way a voucher for £10. Thank you to Chris for sparing me his time. Go check out his channel. 
for a better understanding of his collection. I recently met him in London. We spent a few hours together and we managed to go to Forbidden Planet where I gave him his prize. He's a super chill dude and I would for sure meet up with him again. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all next time. Probably gonna go smash a Mackey's right now. I mean, I do love dipping the fries into the milkshake. Oh yes, a fellow milkshake chip dunker. Salty and sweet at the same time, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like it's like breakfast pancakes with bacon. Yeah, I know, right? People just yeah. don't know.